Well, day two. So plan today is we head over a little bit more inland today. So we're going to go over into um, Villa Robledo, I think, R Robledo or something like that. That's where we're heading to today. It's not a long journey today. It's about a two, two hour, 30 minute journey from where I am here in Valencia. <laughs> So we're going to take it easy. I've got to give the bike a good maintenance check over today. One thing about hardtails is there is an extreme amount of vibration in the bike because there is no rear suspension. So all of that energy that's built up in the in, from, from that kind of the, the bike constantly bouncing on the road that has got to go somewhere. So if anything's going to come loose, it is going to come loose, and you must check them every time you go on the next ride. So I'm going to give the bike a maintenance check over. Just make sure everything is good, and then we're going to get going. It's cold, right? It's about 8 degrees, but getting warmer. So I'm going to wait till about 11 o'clock, and then we're going to head off about 11, by which time it should have warmed up a bit. But look, come and take a look at this. 47 euros for the night. Look at that. And as I thought, that was a sea view just there. Look at that, 47 euros including breakfast. Okay. Now I had a normal breakfast. You know, you never get nothing spectacular in any hotel, to be fair. Never had anything really that I could really rave about for breakfast. But we're done, we're ready. And I'm all ready. I've got my True Classic shirt. They're sponsoring the trip, of course. If you want anything off them, head over to their website. We'll use this code EASYRIDER25. EASYRIDER25. That'll get you 25% off your first order. Now, time to take one True Classic onto another True Classic. Let's go get that panad started. With a bike this age, 1950, we're talking 73 years old, and a hardtail on top of that. It seemed to me a pretty good idea to check the bike over at most stops, just looking for oil leaks, loose nuts and bolts, make sure anything hasn't rattled loose, and just a general look over to make sure I was confident on the road whilst I was taking the trip from A to B. So far, so good on this check. There was absolutely nothing wrong with the bike other than a small dribble of oil. Couple of primes, ignition on.
So, first stop of the day. Well, we just got onto the main A3 now, heading into Madrid. Um, and we, I've just pulled over, just grab a sandwich and a coffee. And uh, first stop. So, quick valuation on the bike again. Make sure we've got no drops of oil anywhere. All looks pretty good. Um, I say, there is a little bit of oil seeping there by the oil pump down there. Just hitting the exhaust. But it's nothing too major, because that doesn't get any worse. No visual signs of anything. Nothing looks like it's coming loose. Um, the bike is noisy. I just think that's generally because that cam is noisy anyway. So, all good. So we're gonna just check gas. I think there's a, another service is about 29 kilometers. So I'm gonna probably go for that one and then gas up on the next stop um, and take it from there. We won't be that far out there. I'll have about another hour's ride after that down into Villa Robledo. So, all good. Andalusia, skyline, hills there in the background. Right, onwards and upwards. Here. that was a pretty tough ride that was tough going because it was really really windy and um, I missed the one gas station and we were running on fumes then we really were running on fumes so let's have a look at the true classic not the t-shirt the bike the bikes in one piece everything's good it's shaking me to death that's the thing this is um, bringing back memories when I was a lot younger. Hard tails, it's a vibration in the bike. It's um, just shaking me to bits, to be honest. Anyway, I've landed at this hotel. We've just got the underground park in here, and then we're gonna go and have a look around. I was hoping for a little bit of a relax, but it looks like I've just pulled in to Carnival. So, here's Carnival now. You can see already it's getting busy. <laughs> Look at that. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I think they're going to go well tonight. But anyway, can't beat them, John. It's going to be one busy. The size of the square is huge. It's going to be a busy, busy night tonight, I think. And these things usually go on till God, silly o'clock in the morning. So we'll see how much sleep we get. Well, one of the things I really love about Spanish culture is the way that they all enjoy themselves together. I mean, this is a typical town enjoying the carnival all together. Everybody knows each other. Everybody's joining in, dressing up, the kids are having a great time. All of this is put on. There's no price for this, there's no tickets for this. This is put on by the local council and they make out, you know, for everybody to just come down and enjoy themselves. And it's one of the beautiful things about Spain. We're in the middle of Spain. 
I can't even pronounce where we are. Villa Robledo. And right smack in the middle of the, of the country. Right in the heart of the, of the countryside. This is going on. How beautiful. How lovely. Family values here are worth so much. Something we have little of these days, sadly, in the UK. You know, it seems to be easier to separate than it does to stay together and raise a family. But when you raise a family, you get to enjoy this. How fantastic. Now, for me, I'm going to enjoy some food. <laughs>